In this video, this is a part two of my daisy chain series. The first one we made with the uh, jet heads. This one we're gonna be using these cheap little rubber skirts that I showed you in that first video. So uh, I'm gonna show you all the steps how to make this daisy chain using these cheap little skirts. Again, these skirts, this little five pack, I think was like $4 or something like that. Any local bait store will have it, Bass Pro Shops, Pelagic Outfitters, any of these uh, local tackle stores or the big shops as well. So let me get to it. I'll show you all the steps, how to create this daisy chain, which works great for all your inshore pelagics, your mahi mahi, Spanish mackerel, bonita, skipjack, <clears throat> any of those little tunas, little blue fins. Uh, it's a great little lore to have. So let me get to it and I'll show you how to do it. So when you're creating these lures, you're gonna start from the bottom up and basically the hook end is where you're gonna start. So for this lure, I chose the mustad hook. This is a 6.0 and it's a 2X extra strong hook. And that's basically what your hook looks like right there. And that's perfect for these small pelagics. So for this, you're gonna need, I have 10 feet of 80 pound mono. So we're gonna to get to one end of it, all right? You're gonna need your crimps for 80 pounds. You're gonna need your, <clears throat> your shave gear and your crimping tool. So let me get everything I need and we'll be right back. For starters, for this step, you're gonna take your 80 pound crimp and your 80 pound mono and slip one end in, okay? From there, you're gonna take your shave gear. Like I said in my other video, I have two seconds. I have a smaller one and a longer one. I used a smaller one for the hook. I'm gonna slide it through. So basically it should look like that. You have your crimp and then your shave gear. And now we have my hook. Okay, slide that through, pop it back through the crimp, push it in. Now, I like to give myself a little extra like that. I don't know if you could see that little piece sticking out. And what we do is we'll burn that. You get a little burn going on that, and then we just push it in. We make like a little mushroom head on that. So I don't know if you could see that right there, but. That's basically what we did. Now, you slide the crimp back down. So that little mushroom head's gonna catch it. And you pull everything together, okay? Pop that in there. So that's basically what you're gonna look like. You can see I'm pulling that pretty tight and that little burn itself is just holding it. With that, you're gonna get your crimpers, which I have to grab. Okay. Now these are all labeled in the sizes, what you need, which size for which crimp. This one I just happen to know is the middle crimp for this size. And you're gonna pop it right in there. You wanna keep it nice and straight. Now when you crimp, you always wanna leave a little bit of flare sticking out. So I go right, oops, sorry about that. Okay. So if you can see that, pull everything snug and do your first crimp. Now being that there's a lot left over, I'm gonna slide it again and do a little bit more on this side and squeeze it again. Okay. So now you can see that crimp is mushroomed on both sides. Okay, there's your little piece of uh, mono that we burnt. You got a crimp in the middle and you can see on each side it's mushroomed out a little. That right there is a complete crimp. Now we're ready for the first skirt. With this daisy chain, I decided to start with my first skirt and I'm gonna insert this little Mylar lead head. If you can see that, I guess it's a Mylar flash. I'm not actually even sure what you would call this. I wanna add a little extra attractant to this lure. So to do this, you're gonna flip this over. Now this is actually the other side now. We had the hooks on one end, now I'm on the top end. So I forgot to mention that. And I'm gonna pop this through, okay? So you're gonna find a little hole in there and go through. Of course, I can't see, so that always makes it more interesting. Let me take this off camera for one second just to put this through where I could see it. Okay. So now that's through, as you can see. And we're gonna slide this all the way down to the hook. Again, this is 10 feet I'm working with right now. And you could spin this to get to make sure the crimp gets in there, it doesn't catch all the other stuff. And it's like that, okay. So there's your first part of the lure that's in now. You can see that? 
that's a small little weight and some mylar or flash like I said I wasn't exactly sure what this is called now we need to do actually what I forgot to mention is that these come with no holes now they have a little see that like a little rubber piece on the tip you want to cut those off but you don't want to cut too much we have a big huge gaping hole so get as close as you can as to where it opens get a small little scissor and you just want to snip it just so there's enough I could even go a little more if you have to you can always poke a hole with your scissor to make sure so now you have a small little hole in there not a giant one again the same thing start from the other side of your mono you're gonna put it upside down and slide it down the rig so we just flip this over pop your mono through you can see it came through slide it all the way down okay so now once we come up to this part, flip this over, get all these little legs out of the way, and drop that head right in there. Okay, and that slides over your head. And as you can see, you have your skirt with some nice extra flash in there. The fish cannot resist this at all. That extra flash really helps out a lot, and it gives it a little weight. So that's part one of your lure. Now, the same as the other lure, as the jet head one, we're gonna go three feet until the next lure. So I'm gonna measure this out and I'll be right back. Now I have my three foot marked out, coming back on camera. I did that off camera with a yardstick. And you're basically gonna put a little black Sharpie marker on there. Okay, and there's your spot right there. I'm not sure if you got that. You see that little black mark right there. So if you remember from my other video, what you want to do is you want to put your crimp there and get right on the black dot and you have to take a small piece of the same monofilament, this 80 pound, and you want to put it in there, okay? And what you want to do is once you have this in there, and once you get it into the, um, the crimp, you want to make it flat on the side that the lure is going to go. Okay, so there's your black mark, there's the line in there, put it right up to your black mark, that's my three foot thing. These crimps, I don't go as crazy. I just basically put it right in the middle and then squeeze. Oops. That's basically right in the middle and just squeeze down on it. These you don't have to be as crazy. It's just holding the rubber lure on it. Or well, the rubber skirt, I should call it. As you can see, it's something simple like that. And you can see the section where the lead's gonna go and the other rubber skirt is smooth. And this is just the excess line. You can cut this if you want it. I just leave it on, doesn't really matter. And that's that. So now, go back to the beginning of your line. And for these, I like to add weights. Instead of beads, I'll put lead sinkers on these. <clears throat> and I'm going to run down a lead sinker down the line. I don't know what size these are, to be honest with you. But just basically like that. And if you can see, there's your lead line. I mean, your lead sinker, and it stops right on that crimp, and it's not going anywhere. From there, you get another skirt. And we're going to run it down. Now, I pre-cut these already off camera, this way it was done. And you have to see me cutting all of them, so I just chopped away. Okay. Again, flip it over. Get all the legs out of the way. And just run that mono down it and out the other side. And bring it down to the weight. Pull the mono through. And you're going to go right down to the weight. Again, same process. Just get those legs out of the way. Drop the weight in and run the lure down. Make sure that weight gets in there snug, and that's it. And there's your second uh, skirt on your daisy chain. So, we're gonna start. We have our first one with our flash. Comes down three feet. Here comes your second one. Now, from here is where we do the, the uh, adding of the lure. Because I like to make them a foot apart, but I do it also, I add, I measure this lure right here, and then I'll add that. So what this lure right here is, do this again off camera, sorry about that. This is a four and a half inch lure. So I'm gonna go 12 plus four and a half for my crimps. So you take your lure, put it on. Let me put the ruler here so you can see what I'm doing. So I'll take my ruler, pop my lure on the edge right there. I go to 12 plus four and a half. One, two, three, four and a half. So I'm right there at 16 and a half. As you can see, 16 and a half. And get my marker and we make a line. I 
It's a little simple black lot, black dot, whatever, from a little permanent Sharpie marker. That's basically all I'm using. All right, same thing. Let me grab some crimps. And it's the same process over. Get to the end of your line. And slide the crimp down. Bring it to the black dot. And there's your black dot right there. Slide it back up to your black dot. Where your mark is. Get a little piece of extra mono. Pop it in the crimp. Smooth edge right there. Make sure you're lined up right there. Hold everything together. And crimp it. Okay, that's it. And just like the other lore, go back to the end. It's actually the beginning of the, the rig. So I'll keep saying the end, but it's actually the beginning. Slip your weight in. Take your lead. Pop it in. You can actually probably even do it this way. Grab it and run it all together at the same time. I'm sure you could even be an issue. Pop your lead in there and now just run it down. That's definitely a faster way to do it. Now once it gets to that crimp there, just gonna stop it, pop the lead in there, and there you go, you're done. And that's number two. So now you can see, if I did my math right, you should be about a foot apart. Oh, you know what, I forgot to add, I did mess up on that one. I forgot to add the compensate for the lead and the crimp. So I'm at 13 instead of 12. So these are actually 13 inches apart they're gonna be. I forgot to add in for the, the half inch for the lead and also the crimp, that's gonna add some more space for it. So there you can see, so I'm actually at 13 now instead of 12, which is still fine, 13 inches apart is not bad. Just make sure they're all the same. So the next ones, next ones will be 13 inches apart and, and so on. So we're gonna do this for two more, okay? Same scenario, and we're gonna do it for two more steps. So it's actually gonna be a five Lord Daisy chain. Now coming up to my last one, I did the others all off the camera. Again, I'll just show you one more time. It's the same for each one. 16 and a half, pop the lure at the edge of the ruler there. As you can see, the ruler actually just hold on a lip. Come to the 16 and a half mark, which is right there. Sharpie marker. Take your mark. Okay. You have your mark on your line, same thing. Top of the line, run a crimp down. Bring it to the mark. Get your extra piece of monofilament. Pop it in your crimp. Push it so it's flush. Run it up to your mark. Which is right there. There you have it there, crimper. For the size 80 pound, this is my middle one. Slide it up so you make sure you have a flare. Squeeze it tight. And there you go. You can see it's flared. On there. Pop your lead in. Right over here. Grab your skirt, flip it upside down, get the legs out of the way. Open it up. Drop this in right here with your lead and go down right to the crimp. You sometimes, like I said, you could spin these and pull the legs out if they're stuck in the crimp or anything like that. Or you can just always unfold them like this and pull anything out that's in there. And then once you have like that, just you can watch it's gonna pop. The weight gets popped in, and there it is, it's popped in. All right. Okay, so now our whole entire lure is basically complete with our skirts. So, and as you can see, you know, they're all 13 inches apart from where I put the first one on there, that's on the ruler, tail section, 13 inches. So, and here we go, here's our chains. Here's your first one coming down. Number two, another 13 inches. Number three, another 13 inches. Number four, now we have three feet. And here comes the stinger right there. And the stinger has that flashy stuff that I put in there. 
So that's basically a daisy chain right now. And that's a five skirt daisy chain. Now for the finished touches, we're gonna put the crimp and we also have to put another piece of shafe gear. So simple with that. Open it up, pop the, uh, the crimp on your line, get your shafe gear, pop it on the line, come back around, throw the um, mono back through the crimp, pop it through, get your lighter, burn a little, make sure you don't burn your hands when you're doing this, and we do just push it right on the side of the lighter just to get that mushroom head. Okay, pop it back to the crimp and slide it all the way down. Okay, that's right there. It's gonna be connected to your snap swivel on your fishing rod. So same thing, we have everything nice and snug down there. We'll grab your crimper. Now this one, I'm not gonna go directly in the middle. I wanna make sure I use as much as possible, leaving the, um, the flare on both sides. So let's see, right about there looks good. I could probably go a little more. So squeeze one side, then slide that little bit in there. You just want to loosen just a little bit with your hand and pop it in there. That's not enough. Let's see, get a little bit more. Right about there. Okay. And there you go. So now that's crimped, that's done. So now you have your, your, your um, snaps is gonna go right there. And just push your whole lord together now. And that is basically it. Here's your snap swivel to your main line to your fishing rod. And here it comes. Here's your first your first skirt, second skirt, third, fourth, and then of course three feet later. Here comes your stinger with your hook. And that is how easy it is to make a daisy chain at home. Now this lure probably cost, I don't know, maybe 10, maybe not even 10 bucks to make, probably not even 10 bucks to make, because the hooks you buy in bulk pack, you know, there's how many hooks in this, there's uh, five hooks in here, so you can make five lures, these hooks are probably, who knows, maybe a dollar a piece, you know. These were the skirts I used, the P-line skirts, again, it's probably five dollars for that whole entire pack, four or five dollars, it's not a lot. And then the mono is, is pennies, and then a couple crimps. And these are just plain old crimps. You can use any kind, but these just happen to be the offshore angle ones I use. Genkai ones work great. I mean, this basically all this stuff you just pick up at a tackle store and you can just rig away. And uh, it's fun. It's also something that's it's so rewarding to catch, you know, fish on your own rig baits too, which makes it extra special. Definitely love catching stuff on the, uh, the rigs that I make instead of a store bought. But that's basically it. If you like these videos, give them a thumbs up. Uh, leave comments. Again, negative comments, positive comments. It's all good to me. It just helps me out my algorithm. So please watch my other shows and uh, subscribe. And thank you again for watching. Talk to you all soon.